This is Julian, and this week's book is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, which is a series of personal writings or notes to himself, as well as on the Stoic philosophy. And in all honesty, this is probably one of the best books that I've ever read. I mean, I extremely resonated with it, and I'll share with you what I personally got out of it. But if you haven't read this one yet, um, this one's really a must, so get on it now and enjoy. So I thought I'd start this with an excerpt from the book, which in my opinion really illustrates the foundation behind many of the ideas here, as well as the saying, live as nature requires. And it goes, I am part of a world controlled by nature, and I have a relationship with other similar parts. With that in mind, I have no right as a part to complain about what is assigned to me by the whole, because what benefits the whole can't harm the parts, and the whole does nothing that doesn't benefit it. So by keeping in mind the whole I form a part of, I'll accept whatever happens. And because of my relationship to other parts, I will do nothing selfish, but aim instead to join them, to direct my every action toward what benefits us all, and to avoid what doesn't. And if I do all that, then my life should go smoothly. Okay, and I love this. I mean, this really encompasses um, what I personally got out of this book, and I thought we could kind of dive into what he means by this. Okay, so basically he and many of the Stoics believe that the world is organized in a very rational and coherent way, and it's controlled and directed by an all-pervading force, nature. Okay, and all events are determined by nature and follow in an unbreakable chain of cause and effect. And as a little side note here, there are a lot of similarities between these ideas and the Hermetic principles that I talk about in this video here. What he basically says is that the design of the world is like a flood that's in forward motion. Okay, cause and effect, cause and effect, cause and effect is moving forward. And, okay, you can either go with the current and do what nature demands or requires, or you can resist it and just be dragged by it. But you don't have a choice. Okay, and this is huge. Do what nature requires of you. Um, another great saying is, all the elements obey the world, so why are you the only one complaining about its posting? Okay, true enjoyment means doing as much of what your nature requires as you can. Okay, and it's very simple. Just do what needs doing, okay, including dying, and we'll get to this, and prize yourself in doing and not doing what you were designed for. Stop resisting it. Okay, a lot of us, we just don't go with the current of things. We hang on, let's just say, to change. Okay, that's a huge one. Like everything's changing, transforming, and we're just trying to cement all these different moments. Let go of that. Okay, by doing that, you're just going to be dragged along, and your experience or journey here is not going to be very enjoyable. And you can really do this anywhere. Okay, what he says is that you can live an untroubled life provided you can grow, think, and act systematically. Okay, no one can keep you from living as your nature requires, including your current life situation. You know, we tend to think that our current circumstances are holding us back. It's like, you know, I wish I could go with the flow of things, but I just don't have the money. I'm not living, you know, where I want to be living. But guess what? You can live here as you expect to live over there. You know, there's that old saying, it's like, wherever you go, there you are. You're here now. You can live according to your nature right now. Okay, what's most likely holding you back are your own misperceptions, let's just say. Okay, and we'll get to this. Now, building on this, okay, understand that whatever happens to you was meant for you by nature. Okay, woven into the pattern from the beginning. Okay, it's again that chain of cause and effect, cause and effect, cause and effect. And whatever happens to you is for the good of the world. Okay, it's been waiting to happen from the beginning and it's for your own good. Okay, each of us needs what nature gives us when nature gives it. And this is something that we resist as well. You know, something bad happens, we're like, why did this happen to me? It was meant to happen to you from the beginning of time, and it's for the good of the world, the good of the whole. Okay, a great saying is, it's what nature prescribed. Okay, and this is a great way of viewing it. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad, it was prescribed and ordered by nature so as to further your recovery and further your destiny. Okay, it may not be pleasant, let's just say, but we embrace it because we want to get well. It's like if you're sick, it's like here's some medicine, here's a shot. It's not the most enjoyable thing, but it's prescribed for you, okay, so you get better. The same here. Everything that happens to you, embrace it. You need those experiences, okay, and no nature would do the opposite, okay, that is bring something about that wasn't beneficial to what it governed, okay, it's not against you. And uh, what he says here is just really don't be anxious, okay, don't complain, don't get upset, don't be mad. Nothing can happen to you that isn't natural, okay, and nothing can happen to you that you can't endure either, okay, nature controls it all, and our problem here, our own misperceptions, as I mentioned before, it's us labeling things as say good or bad, okay, and once you can kind of let go of that and just accept it all, 
guess what? Whatever happens, you need it. It furthers your own growth. You can't fuck up this life, okay? Even say the decisions you make. This is huge. Like you do something, it doesn't go well. So you're like, oh my God, why did I do this? Idiot. But guess what? You can't fuck up because even if it doesn't go well, that's just a label. That's just a judgment. That's just you viewing it or perceiving it as something good. But even if it doesn't go well, you grew from that. If you look back at your life, some things were good, or again, you perceive them as good, some things you perceive as bad, but no matter what happened, you grew. Okay, it furthered your growth, it furthered your destiny. Embrace it all, you need that. And you may not see it when it happens, but you need whatever you get. Okay, it was prescribed from you and I doubt you regret anything that ever happened to you or anything that you ever fucking did. All those experiences formed you, you know, or the person you are here today. And this is something that, I mean, I extremely resonate with. Like whenever someone asks me, uh, what would you tell, you know, your, your 18 year old self or your, your 21 year old self? Most likely nothing, just do what you did. I wouldn't change a single thing, including some of the adversity. You know, if you've been following my journey, there was the media scandal and at the time I was like, why is this happening to me? But looking at it now, it's like, this is what I needed. Okay, this is what kind of snapped me out of that you know, egoic frame of mind of just like seeking validation, say through, you know, shock humor and marketing. And this is what brought me here. This is what made me grow. It was prescribed for nature, for the good of nature, the good of the world, the good of the whole. Okay. So, I mean, this is huge. And uh, again, just with the misperceptions, things that happen to you aren't the problem. It's your assessment of them. Okay. Which of course you can erase right now. Okay. Disturbance doesn't come from anything external. And this is big. It comes only from within, from our own perceptions, okay? Nothing is necessarily good or bad. It's all natural, as I mentioned. Um, and some classic examples, let's just say pain. You know, a lot of us, we fear pain or we label pain as something bad, okay? Which is ridiculous, okay? Why? Because guess what? For you to fear pain is to fear something that is bound to happen. We're all going to experience pain. We're all going to experience discomfort. And in most cases, guess what? Pain or discomfort, you probably heard the saying, go outside your comfort zone. That's what you need to grow. That's what's prescribed in order to grow. It's not bad. So let go of that label. Okay, you're always gonna be fear of something that is gonna happen. Hanging on to this reality of no pain is completely irrational. You should be anticipating pain. And again, just embracing it. The same with pleasure. It's not good. Don't be like, pleasure is good, pain is bad. It's all just natural. It's all just an experience, a sensation. Let it happen. Go with the current of it all. Okay. Nature doesn't privilege pleasure over pain, fame over anonymity, wealth over poverty, life over death. Okay. Let go of these labels. Um, our misperceptions are really a big part of our suffering in a way. It's not the events. It's not even the pain. It's how we interpret the pain. It's those added, say, negative emotions that come from inside, from within, nothing external. You know, um, so understanding this, you really realize nothing external can have a hold on you. Nothing external can really harm you, can really hurt you. And it's a very comforting feeling. You know, if you want to dive into these two, like say fame or anonymity, um, what he says is if your reputation is bothering you, a question you can ask yourself, and I like this too, is if something is genuinely beautiful, okay, does it need supplementing? Can it really be improved by being praised or damaged by contempt. Something to think about, okay? And in terms of getting rid of misconceptions as well, um, you know, look at who those people really are, those people who praise you or those people um, who don't approve of you, get rid of those misconceptions. Because we're like, oh, those people are amazing. Not really, okay? That doesn't mean look down on them either. It just is, okay? The emptiness, as he says, of all those applauding hands. Uh, the same with wealth or poverty. Okay, a great quote from the book, um, which is something he learned from his adopted father is, the way he handled the material comforts the fortune had supplied him in such abundance, without arrogance and without apology. If they were there, he took advantage of them. If not, he did not miss them. Okay, and once again, nature gives and nature takes away. And anyone with a sense of humility will tell her, give and take as you please. Okay, not out of defiance, but out of obedience and goodwill. Okay, nothing belongs to you. Huge. You know, we tend to think like, this computer is mine, this camera is mine, you know, this is all mine. No, nothing belongs to you. It all belongs to nature. Nature can give something to you. Nature can take it away. If nature gives something to you, enjoy it while you have it, but don't get attached onto it. Don't view it as, oh, this is something good. It's like, oh, 
It's just an experience. It's just something that is of nature, okay? All things in nature are equal, good or bad. It's all equal. And if they take it away, that's fine too. Here's another experience. Embrace it, go with the flow. If you get attached onto something, at some point you will lose it and you'll feel bad, okay? And even when you have it, you'll be afraid of losing it. Let's just say approval. You get approval, like we really want approval, we want that fame, you get it, as soon as you have it, oh, I don't wanna lose it, I don't wanna lose it. At some point you will, okay? Or you'll live your entire life just trying to hang on to it in suffering. If it's there, enjoy it. If it's not there, enjoy that too. Um, everything comes from that same source, nature, and the only thing that you have a clear title on is your mind. That's it, your body, your breath are yours in trust, okay? Which leads us to life and death, Okay, we tend to think life over death, life over death, and uh, this is probably the biggest one. You know, we tend to label death as bad, and uh, most of us spend our entire lives trying to avoid it. You know, everything we do is trying to avoid death. You know, if we want to leave a certain legacy, it's like people remember me. Like anything to just avoid death. Okay, instead of simply accepting that it's nothing but a process of nature. Okay, not only a process of nature, but a necessary one. Things again are destroyed, then there's reintegration. Destruction, reintegration. That's the way the world works. Even you, guess what? You were born, you're going to die. That there, that transformation, that growth, that's the necessary process, okay? Um, so embrace it, okay? There's no escape from the rhythm of events, okay? Another similarity to the Hermetic principles. And uh, it's key to understand here too that the world cycles never change, okay? Up, down, from age to age. Um, all of this has happened before, and I love this, and it will happen again. It's the same plot from the beginning to end, the identical staging, okay? And observing life, remember this, observing life for say 40 years or a thousand years, would you really see anything new? Not really. You know, if you want to get even deeper, all there really is is right now. The present moment, that's all there really is, and guess what? The rest of life is just more of this right now. Nothing in the future, nothing in the past, is any different than right now. It's just more of the present moment. And remember too that your job, okay, is to pass through this brief life as nature demands, okay? Going back to the beginning, as nature requires and to give it up without complaint, okay? You accept the limits placed on your body. You accept the limits placed on your time. You just accept everything, okay? And what dies doesn't vanish, and this is important to understand. It stays here in the world, transformed, dissolved as part of the world and of you. Okay, you have functioned as a part of something, okay, of the whole, and you will be restored into what produced you. Okay, and this is something that, I mean, I personally try to remind myself of every single fucking day. It's that everything is connected, everything is related. You know, we all come from the same place, everything comes from the same place, and everything ends up in that same place. Okay, everything is interwoven, um, and just in terms of how you live your life as well, you know, if you love yourself, you love nature as well. You know, and you love, Everything that is nature as well, that is other people, uh, different experiences, different uh, events, different objects, you just love everything. If you hate other people, you hate nature and you hate yourself. Love everything and everyone else, okay, as we're all part of one big whole, cooperation is key, thus go with what nature requires, what nature demands, okay? And uh, this is what I personally got out of this book. I mean, I extremely resonated with this. I mean, this is my view. It's like, whatever happens, embrace it. Uh, there's always something to get from it and try to let go of as many labels as possible um, and anything external. You know, it's like it's really a job of managing what's in your control, your actions, your perceptions. You can choose to see things for what they really are or you can choose to buy into different labels or what other people believe. You know, it's like who says that say being wealthy is better than being poor? Who says that being famous is better than not being famous? No one. Are you buying into that or are you seeing it for what it really is? That's really all I can say is like, try to let go, control your mind, embrace, surrender to the process of things, stop fighting against them, stop adding those extra negative emotions to whatever happens, okay? Nothing is good or bad, nothing is a punishment to you. Like say you're stuck in traffic, you're like, why is this happening to me? No, it's not happening to you, it's nature. It happens to everyone else as well, okay? And remember, nature will not give you something that you can't endure, huge. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, this book, highly recommend checking it out. Um, check the comments for next week's book. Let me know what you think of this video, and as always, until next time.